Hi there, I'm Michelle Cashmore and in this video I'll be demonstrating how I created my latest painting of a horse in acrylics. I start off by painting the whole panel in my background colour. This takes a few layers to get a nice even coverage. Then, using transfer paper, I add the outline of my drawing before filling it in with titanium white, which is very opaque, making it a good base for my other colours. I want a sort of smoky effect around my swirls. So I use an airbrush to mist water onto the panel before adding some mixing white, which is a translucent white. I then blend it with a mop brush which creates a soft, hazy effect. Throughout this piece, I'm using a variety of different brush shapes and sizes. For the fine details here, I'm using a liner brush. For larger areas, I make use of round or filbert brushes. Once the swirls are painted, I glaze over them in the smoke using a thin mix of an earthy orange colour. This creates the effect I'm looking for. I always paint lots of layers when working in acrylics. The very first layer always looks awful. The paint always seems streaky and messy. I just keep building layers, evening out the paint and gradually adding in more details and it all starts to come together. If a layer doesn't work out, then I just let it dry and paint over it again. You'll see me working in sections at a time through this video. I just like to work this way as I find it easier. I don't particularly like working with the ugly first layers, so I like to at least partly refine a section before moving on to the next. Some people prefer to do one whole layer at a time before moving on to the next. There's no right or wrong way to do things. I also sometimes revisit areas, as I notice that something needs adjusting. As more of the horse takes shape, it becomes more obvious when an area needs more contrast or if the colour needs adjusted. The whole time I pay close attention to the reference photo I'm using. My reference for this was by Karen Bromelsick via the Photos for Artists group on Facebook. At this point, I'm mostly looking to get my light and dark values correct. While I want my colours to be close, if they're a little off, then I can go back later and shift the colours using glazes. The horse is in a very strong, interesting light, and I want to make sure that my contrast is strong on this piece. Here, on the shoulder especially, there are some very pale areas where the sun is hitting the horse and some areas of strong shadow. It's important to get these in the right place as it defines the muscles of the horse's shoulder. If they're in the wrong place then the horse's anatomy will just look strange. At this point, the horse's body looks very bulky and unrealistic, but with my basic tones and colours in, I can start refining all those details, softening out the edges and adding in the subtle details in the muscles. I just keep on layering until it looks the way I want. Here I accidentally made the shadows too dark and pronounced, so I fixed that by layering a lighter colour on top. Acrylics are a very forgiving medium when it comes to correcting mistakes. I left the mane to last because it's actually one of my favourite parts about painting horses. I love adding in all the little details. This mane was quite tricky because of all the movement in it. Here it was really important to look at the shape of the shadows and highlights and to paint what I saw, not what I expected. 
There were a lot of strange shapes that didn't look very mean like, but once everything was there, it all came together. Some of the mane is also surprisingly dark. Even though in real life the horse's mane is entirely chestnut, because of the way the mane is moving, most of the right hand side is much much darker. Make sure to get your shadows in dark areas dark enough when painting. Getting the contrast right makes such a huge difference to the impact of your piece. Finally, I'm just making a last pass over the whole painting, touching up any little areas that need adjusting. And that's the painting complete. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you'd like to see more of my videos, then please do subscribe. You can also find me at my website at michellecashmoreart.com and also on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Thanks for watching.